everybody. Welcome back to Noon and Phonics. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Wow, those guys have said hello to us. Let's see what's going to happen next. Challenge number one. It's time for us to remember and write some graphemes we have already learned. Miss Coleman will tell you now. <laughs> okay. Right, so um, the first one is the uh, phoneme ear and there are three different graphemes for this one they are all trigraphs pause the video now if you need some more time to write and we will move on okay the next sound the next phoneme is the phoneme e <laughs> not e <laughs> e e and there are seven different graphemes for this one so have a go at writing those now pause the video Right guys, let's have a look. Let's move on. So ear, if you have a look here, I was just pointing at the screen. Can't see that, can you? E-A-R, and then there's another one, double E-R, and the last one is E-R-E. -E. We've been looking at these all week as our recap. And then E is double E, E-A, split digraph E, Y by itself, E by itself, E-Y or R-E. Well done if you've got all of those. Okay, now write these words. Okay, I'm going to tell you three words. If you need more time to write them after I've told you, you need to pause the video, okay? So the first one is sorry. The next one is dear, but this is not when you're writing to someone. It's not an introduction to say, hello, this is me. It is the animal, a deer. And finally, sphere. We all know that shape because we've done our 3D shapes. Sphere. Right, it's time to move on, everyone. Let's have a look. So, if this is a recap on the words, just to check, did you spell them correctly? Sorry, it's got a double R in the middle, two R's. And then it's got the E sound at the end as written as a Y. Deer, the animal deer, has got the ear, sound, the ear grapheme double E R. And the shape, the sphere, has got S and then the PH makes a F sound and the ERE -E, um, is ear. Ooh, let's see what we're going to do today then. Today we are going to look at the past or present progressive tense again. Do you remember that from yesterday? So we're going to look at verbs, doing words, things that we do, but when it is continually happening, it's happening all the time and it's happening in the past or it might be in the present. And we are going we are going to add the suffix ing to the end of the root verbs. However, this time we have to change the root verb. Right, okay, so we're gonna change the root verb. Root verbs that end in an E have to have the E removed before adding ing, just like when you add the past tense suffix ed. Right, so this is the same as um, when you were in the past tense, you change the verb to the past tense. Now you have to take away the E and add ING. So let's have a look. First, read these root verbs and see if you can spot the ones ending in E. Right, have a look at the root verbs. See if you can spot them. There are 12 of them. Pause your video now. Great, well done. You should have found all 12 of those um, root verbs ending with an E. Have a look and see if you managed to find them all. Okay. So we, these are all our root verbs. So we have got love, take, shove, joke, move, hope, bake, dodge, live, slide, hide, and dive. Okay, so we know what love is, we know what take is, shove. Can you remember that? That's right, it's to push. Joke, we all know what a joke is. We know what move is. Hope, do you know what that is? <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. Hope, it's when you think that something positive will happen, even if you're not too sure. You keep trying, thinking, oh, maybe it will be okay. Um, bake, a lot of people have been doing some baking. Dodge. We know that's to move out of the way. Live, we know that. Slide, whoosh, hide, and dive. It's when you jump into the water and go underneath it. Right. Okay, so here are some root verbs which have the E taken off, then ING added to the end to change 
the root verb to the progressive tense verb. Right, let's have a look. Okay. This is the root verb. <laughs> this is the progressive tense suffix ing. This is the progressive tense verb. Right, have a go at reading the first word. Brilliant. Love. And then we've got to add ing. And then everybody have a go at reading the progressive tense verb. Brilliant. It says loving. Now have a go at reading it again at the bottom. Oops. Brilliant. Loving. Let's look at the next one. Okay. So we've got bake. Oh dear, did that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got the word bake. Now you know because I've told you. Let's get rid of that um, E. Goodbye to you. And then we've got to add brilliant ing and it changes into brilliant baking have a go at reading baking again super we've forgotten that one to i forgot to say remove the um e didn't i so you've got the l love you've got to remove the e and then add ing and it becomes loving excellent okay Super, now you have a go at reading these root verbs which have already had the E removed and the suffix ing added to them. Right, so have a go at reading these, pause the video if you need to. Great. So the first one was loving, taking, shoving, joking, moving, hoping, baking, Dodging, living, sliding, hiding, diving. Great job, have a rest and then we will see you later for challenge two. Well done everybody, that was fab work.